Hi, it's Stacy here. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how to build an amazing photography website in WordPress. This video will help you choose a theme, set it up, and add your content. A website starts with a domain and a hosting. Usually hosting providers offer different tools to install WordPress automatically. So we'll not talk about these steps now. Let us know in the comments below if you want us to make a video to cover them. By the way, you can find links to hosting providers that have WordPress-specific subscription plans in the description of this video. Now I will assume that you already have it figured out and are trying to decide what theme you need for your photography website. There are a few things to watch out while choosing a theme to present and sell your works. The theme should be easy to customize and set up and work well on any device. This is important because Google prioritizes mobile-friendly websites and they come up higher in the search results. Also, the theme has to be picture-oriented. You want your photos to be the center of attention, not a fancy header. And I assume there will be a lot of high-quality photos uploaded, so you need to make sure that they are loaded fast to prevent a visitor from clicking away. There is also a factor of personal preference. So take time and think what purpose your photography website should serve. Will it be a portfolio, or does it need to have a blog too, so that you could occasionally share something with your visitors? Would you also want to sell your works online through your own website? There are plenty of photography-oriented themes for WordPress, but depending on your case, while choosing a theme, you will need to pay attention to how the portfolio pages look. Does the theme provide you with a good-looking blog? Does the theme have styles for commerce or any other type of plugins that you may want to install in the future? The developers and designers of the Nifty 50 theme took into account the suggestions and requests from professional photographers and came up with this design. I will use the theme to show you how to create a photography website and fill it in with content. The first step is to upload the theme through Appearance, Themes, Add New, Upload and Activate. This theme is very lightweight and easy to set up. You can use any other theme, but make sure that the chosen one displays photos through the image tag and source set, like it is in this Nifty 50 theme. The source set attribute switches among different versions of the same image to load the one that is most appropriate and looks best on the device where it is being viewed from. This theme offers you to install Jetpack automatically, but you can also install this plugin through the WordPress directory. The reason why the theme recommends this plugin is that it has the essential features for photography website like portfolio post type and images optimization, nice lightbox image zooming, social networks integration, and many more. Its lazy images module makes sure that only the images visible on the screen are loaded. This speeds up the whole website. On a photography website, there may be a lot of off-screen images that otherwise will try to be loaded simultaneously, decreasing the performance and SEO rankings. And we don't want that, so Jetpack comes handy. To have access to all free Jetpack features, you need to connect it to a WordPress.com account following their instructions. I will not do this now, because my WordPress is installed on a local server, and the development mode is enabled. I will show you all the settings that you will need to set up to have the website ready to launch. There is actually only one must-have setting – Portfolio Post Type. This can be found in the Writing tab of the Chatback settings. You can also go through the other tabs and enable other things that you will find useful for the website, like sharing buttons or preview pictures in Lightbox, so when a visitor clicks on a photo, it is displayed in this banner. There is one more step left before uploading your photos on the website, which is creating pages. There will be a front page, where the photos are displayed, and a blog page, where you may want to post something. I will pick a full screen template to display the photos, but you can also use the fixed or the default ones with the sidebar. Name the pages accordingly, and then define them under Settings, Reading, Aesthetic. Now we can upload all the pictures to the media directory of your website and create projects in the Portfolio tab. Each photo or photo set will be a separate portfolio item. Name it and add the photos from the library.
Click on a photo and the pencil to edit the display options, alignment, size, and pick link to attachment page. The letter opens the photos in a light box. Then create a category and text for the project if you want to let your visitors filter the projects. For the project to be displayed on the front page, simply add the tag featured and add the featured image of the project. Save and create more projects in the same manner. The projects can already be viewed separately on the website. Now to feature them on the front page, we go back to the front page editor and add a shortcode from the jetpack into the content part of the page. Shortcodes allow you to embed files to create objects that would normally require a lot of code in just one single line. Jetpack has detailed instructions on how to use and modify the shortcode on their website. Update the changes of the page and this is how the front page looks now. So you can pick what tags and categories should be displayed, the number of columns, the additional info and much more. Create your own shortcode or use the default one offered in the documentation of the Nipsey 50 theme. To create a separate page with only one category of projects, add it in the backend and use the shortcode again. But now specify the category to display or any other parameter. For example, I want to increase the number of columns for this category. Note that you can also create blog posts and display your projects that are using these shortcodes. Now that the content is out there, we need to create a navigation menu and adjust other design preferences. We do it in the customizer, menus, create a new menu. If you pick the primary location, the menu will appear in this box. For the social icons to appear, just insert your social media links here. And here is how the footer menu looks. And there is also a widget array here. Adding any widget there would be done through widgets, header, Add a widget. I'm adding just contact info, but it can be anything. This theme is available in minimalistic black and white. I will go with black. Set up the website identity, add a logo, and so on. You can also control what post meter needs to be displayed on the post and portfolio item pages. This information is necessary for search engine optimization and by disabling it, you just hide this information and not remove it from the source code. So the website is ready and this is how it looks in the end. The portfolio, specific photo categories, Individual portfolio items with easy navigation arrows. The comment section for a photo set or for a particular image. The lightbox preview and the blog. In the future you will only need to add new portfolio items as I showed a couple of minutes ago. And that is it. With this theme, you can even manage your website from your tablet or mobile phone if you download the WordPress app. To sell the pictures online, you will need to install a commercial plugin like WooCommerce, for example. I'm not sure if you need a tutorial for that and the video would get too long. So I'll stop here. I hope you found this video useful, so like and subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials. And hit the notification bell to keep up with us. Thanks for watching.